Hello and welcome back to a new video. This week I wanted to take you through the process of editing your wardrobe, deciding what to keep and what to get rid of and how you can create new outfits from pieces that you already have. So um, what I wanted to do was um, go through my wardrobe, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it would take too long, but I have got out all of my autumn winter pieces now. What you can't see and what I'm not going to show you is that on my bed I have all of my shoes, boots and handbags out so that I can think about what really still works for me. Now I have literally just put into my wardrobe everything that I currently have that is autumn winter wear so I haven't sorted it properly. Um, some of the pieces do need ironing, some of the pieces do need a little bit of um, attention to them but I just wanted to get everything out so that I could see it and this I would recommend is the first thing that you do because if you don't have everything out you might forget about pieces which you've already got and actually when I came to do um, this I did discover a cardigan which I'd forgotten that I had um, and I'd put a burgundy cardigan on my wish list last week and I don't actually need it because I do already have one so I do recommend that you get everything so that you can see it and then start working through piece by piece to decide what you're going to keep so let's get into the detail of the video and I'll explain my process as we go through. So first things first, make sure that you are wearing something comfortable and something that you can take on and off really easily because you are going to be trying things on because that is the only way that you can see what really works together and to make sure that you really are happy with the piece, that it fits you. Um, that it works in your wardrobe, that you do still love it and also you can start creating outfits and um, I'll show you how I do that as I go through. So first of all I've already got in here the pieces from my new capsule wardrobe. Now I'm not going to worry about those too much but if you haven't been through that process then you literally want to go through everything in the wardrobe. I'm going to go through a couple of pieces just to show you how I think about them. So let's say I was starting with skirts and I've got this skirt here which I absolutely love and every time you look at a piece I want you to think about do I really love this is it flattering on me which is obviously why you need to try it on in case you've gained or lost weight or perhaps you just don't like it on you anymore do I feel really good in it? Is it something that I know I'm going to be able to wear a lot? Now, I really do love this skirt. I haven't worn it an awful lot over the last year. Um, it is a skirt that I will wear in the summertime. I have taken it on holiday with me. I have also worn it dressed up. I'm going to pop a picture in here so that you can see um, how I have already worn it. But I really want to bring it into this autumn winter season and there is a trend for this kind of skirt this season with a more chunky style jumper. So I was thinking about what I could pair it with to give me a completely different look with it. So I was thinking about putting um, these boots with it. Again, these are something which I've had for quite a long time. They come out every winter. They are suede on the front and stretch on the back. You can always find pairs like this. These are from LK Bennett, but I will try and find some and link them in the description box for you. So I was thinking about putting it with boots to make it a little bit more casual. You'll have seen that when I put my capsule together last week, I had this lovely um, chunky cardigan that my husband bought me for my birthday. And the skirt does have that kind of cream colour in it. So I was thinking those two pieces would be really nice together. And then what would I put underneath it? Well, um, now while it's not too cold, I was thinking perhaps just again a cream t-shirt or it could be a black top maybe. Um, but then I wanted to kind of pick up the colours that are in the skirt. Now um, one of the colours that is in here is orange. I was really thinking about this could be something that I put on my wish list. Perhaps um, a little top that will go under the cardigan that's either in that orange or perhaps a sort of rusty or tan colour. And um, 
in the meantime I thought what could I put on the neck to kind of bring that co uh, colour in and I started to hunt through my jewellery and I found this necklace which I thought would actually work really well with it. So I will pop this outfit on and show you how it looks and um, then once I am happy that I have created an outfit that I like, what I will then do is take a picture of it. So I've got a record of that outfit that I've put together and I keep all of those in a separate folder on my phone. Now the other thing that I could do with this is put perhaps a more chunky jumper with it. And I have here um, a cashmere jumper. It's got a roll neck to it. It's quite wide and voluminous, but it's one of those that you can kind of pop on and scrunch up. And again, I thought that would work really well with the skirt and the boots, and I could put the same necklace onto that as well. So that gives me a second outfit that I could wear with it. And as I said, if I were to put on my wish list, if I felt I needed it, something in a sort of tan or orange colour that could go on to the cardigan or perhaps another um, sweater that would work with it but what I need to do before I make a decision about that is see if there's anything else in my wardrobe that that would work with and actually there is you may remember this lovely skirt that I had from Hush um, back in sort of spring early summertime and again I was thinking this might be something that I could take into the winter because um, although it's quite a sort of um, summery print, it does have quite a lot of autumnal colour in it. And because it is, it's actually polyester and it's lined, so it is something that on the very hottest days it's too warm to wear. So I think I could wear it into the autumn. And I was thinking about, you know, what else could I put with that? And again, that sort of cream um, chunky cardigan would work well with it. And if I did get something in that rust or orange, then I could put that under the cardigan with this. But the other thing that I wanted to try it with was a chocolate brown. And I have a very simple sort of chocolate brown top here. But then I also thought that I could put this long line um, chocolate brown cardigan over it. And I do again have a pair of chocolate brown boots. Now, when you're going through your wardrobe, um, Think about things that you might want to replace that perhaps you have worn quite a lot and got a lot of wear out of a lot because I kind of feel like now they're getting a little bit scruffy and they're probably ready to be replaced. So again, when you're going through, think about things that perhaps you want to upgrade and replace, things that perhaps have worn out or things that aren't their best anymore. Because what I want you to think about is feeling your best all of the time. You know, the the whole process of the last 18 months that we've been through I think we really deserve to treat ourselves well to go out of the door in the morning feeling absolutely fantastic so one of the things I'm really recommending this year is that you don't leave things in your wardrobe for best because as we know best can be a long time coming so I want you to get up every day to really enjoy getting dressed, to really um, feel good about yourself when you do get dressed. Even if you're staying at home, you know, put something on that still makes you feel good. I'm not saying wear your ball gown and tiara at home, but even if it's wearing something like a pair of joggers, perhaps upgrade them to a beautiful cashmere pair of joggers so that you're feeling really good in yourself all of the time. So I digressed a little bit there, but so that gives me an outfit that I could wear for autumn with this skirt and it also gives me another reason to perhaps start looking for a top that would go with this skirt and with the black print skirt. I hope you're starting to see how I'm kind of justifying whether things stay in my wardrobe or not. Now the next thing that I wanted to talk about is where perhaps you have multiples of something and this is quite common. Um, you'll buy something and you'll get home and you'll realise that you already have something quite similar to it. Now in the, this case what I'm going to talk about here is black trousers. So once I'd finished getting everything out and putting it into my wardrobe I discovered black trousers and I do have a lot of them. Now I don't wear black very often anymore. I do still like to wear it and I do like to put pops of colour with it. 
Um, so I do keep black in my wardrobe, but I really don't need that many pairs of black trousers because I know that I'm not going to wear them. And what happens is then they're only taking up space in the wardrobe. They're stopping you seeing and wearing other pieces that you do want to wear. And also I like to make sure that my clothes have a bit of breathing room. And this actually at the moment for me feels far too full, which is why I still feel like I need to do a really good edit through this wardrobe so starting with all these black trousers is a really good way to do it so the only way that you can do this and make a decision is actually to put them on and starting with um, first of all this is a pair of um, Eileen Fisher trousers they're cropped um, they're wide leg and um, I do love them. I have worn them quite a bit, wearing them with a shoe and just bare legs when um, it's not too cold. I do like wearing them with boots in the winter. I also have a pair of these boots in burgundy and putting those so they go up under the leg because they've got that wide leg, you can wear a boot up underneath them. And they do also fit with um, my style keywords. Now, um, I won't go into too much description about what style keywords are now. I will link here a video where I talk about it. And I do also go through a whole process of telling you how to work out what your style keywords are in my style strategy course, which I will link for you in the description box as well. But my style keywords are about having things that are um, relaxed, fluid, um, I like luxurious fabrics and this season I really wanted to add in another style keyword which is the word elegant. So it's thinking about whether these pieces fit with my style keywords. Now these are relaxed, they are fluid and they fit in with my rules of I do love them, I do wear them, I do think they're flattering um, and I will pop a picture in here of me wearing them so you can see what they look like. Now I'm not going to go through every pair of black trousers with you um, in that much detail because obviously it will take too long but I'm just going to pull out a couple of pairs and talk about them. I have two pairs of wide leg trousers here. One of them are a pair from um, the White Company, which I also have in navy. They're like a ponty fabric. The other pair are a pair of Eileen Fisher jersey. These are cropped, these are full length. Now, I don't really need both of these in my wardrobe. The um, ponty ones I do like because they're comfortable and relaxed. These I like because they do really fit into that elegant. I don't really wear them during the day so I'm going to think about how I can put some outfits together with these during the day. These are going to go because although I have worn them quite a bit I did spill a bit of bleach on them so um, they've actually got a mark from the bleach. So they're not something that I'm going to feel particularly fantastic wearing because I'm going to know that they've got that mark on them. So that's one pair which I will get rid of. And these I now need to think about how I can wear them. Right, then I've got three more pairs here, which I'm going to go through very quickly. A pair of Eileen Fisher, um, the ankle pants, which I absolutely love. I do wear them a lot. They are flattering. Um, they do work really well for me. I can wear them um, summer and winter, so I'm definitely going to keep those. Which leaves me with two more pairs. Do I still need these two pairs of black trousers when I now already have four there? And possibly we'll edit that down further. Now there's a pair here which I bought a few years ago from Joseph, a stretch fabric. Um, they weren't cheap, they do sit nicely but they really are too small for me now and I do struggle to get into them. So even if you've spent money on something, if they don't work for you anymore then get rid of them. Either sell them if they're good quality and you know you can get some money back for them or donate them to somebody who is going to love them. Don't let them take up space in your wardrobe or in your brain. And then I have a final pair here which are from Bowden from a few years ago. Now these again have an elasticated waist but they're kind of a cigarette pants style and because they're sort of quite a fluid um, viscose fabric they're actually really nice for the evening. So I'm going to consider these along with 
the wide leg Eileen Fisher ones and try putting some outfits together to see whether they are worth keeping in my wardrobe. So when you do this, when you find pieces that you need to think about, keep them aside. If you have got a separate rail, pop them on there and um, don't put them back into the wardrobe until you've made sure that you can create outfits with them and you have really convinced yourself that you are going to wear them. So I've narrowed those black trousers down. I'm not 100% happy with how much I've narrowed them down. I think I'm going to edit them a little bit more. So I'm going to keep them there and I'm going to try on pieces with them to decide which pair are the absolute best pair um, and perhaps then have a wide leg pair, um, a tapered pair and possibly a cropped pair so that perhaps I only keep three which are completely different and can be worn in different ways. Then I do have two pairs of culottes as well. Um, these again are more lightweight so they're a summer weight one. I think I'm going to put those away and not keep them out for the winter because I do have a pair of um, slightly heavier culottes which um, again I did buy them at the beginning of the summer. Um, but they are too heavy on days when it's really hot. So actually, I think, again, these will look really nice with um, a long boot coming up underneath them and um, with a sweater or perhaps with um, my nice chunky cardigan. Um, I've got lots of things that I know I can wear these with. And these are kind of more like a skirt than a trouser. Let's look at some things that perhaps you've looked at and thought, shall I keep this? Shall I not keep this? And um, these trousers are a case in point. Again, they are something that I have had for, for years. Um, I did wear them the first time I went to Dallas. What I like about them is um, I like the, the kind of colour combination, if you can see um, the pattern on there. They're also machine washable. I have very few pairs of tailored trousers because I don't really like... Um, a waistband I like the elasticated waist but these are tailored they're that kind of little bit smarter I haven't worn them other than on perhaps a smarter occasion so I was thinking about it would be quite nice to bring these into the wardrobe with that elegant word but thinking about how I could wear them casually and this was a top which um, I found in my um, pieces from last year with the cowl neck which again it's got that lovely fluid shape to it. It's a really good basic but it's a little bit more interesting because of the cowl neck so that gives it that something extra. And I was thinking that those two pieces again mixed with my lovely chunky cardigan that's going to give me an outfit which I think would be quite elegant but then I could really update it for this season and make it a bit more casual by wearing it with a pair of um, western style boots. Now western style boots are really in this season. I bought these at the end of last um, winter kind of springtime so I've not really worn them but I think that's going to make a really nice outfit combination. And then I have this taupe crossbody bag that kind of finishes the look off um, because it's that sort of saddlebag shape that goes with the western style boot. And I think that then gives me a new outfit um, and I will love wearing these trousers again. So talking about tailored trousers, I have one other pair which... Um, I again don't wear very often and so I thought it would be quite nice to bring these out again as well. And these are a pair which I got from me and M. They have a stripe down the side of them. So they are the kind of thing that you can dress up. I will pop a picture in here of how I have worn them a little bit more dressy with the Diane von Furstenberg blouse that I've got. But again I was thinking about perhaps I could wear these for every day. And so I was thinking about um, wearing them with a sweater. I have a gorgeous navy cashmere sweater from Whistles. 
and um, perhaps them wearing them with a pair of boots. And then the other thing that I thought they would go quite nicely with is a new cardigan um, which Borkin kindly gifted me. And I was thinking that the navy and the tan is a really nice combination together. And then with that, a pair of my old favourite boots, which again are several years old, they're velvet, um, they're from a brand called Mister. They always do sort of quite interesting styles, but I thought that really gives it that very autumnal look and then perhaps pop a scarf on it as well. So I'll put that outfit together and pop a picture of that in here for you too. So I hope that's given you some idea of how I edit my wardrobe. Now I will gradually go through every item which I have brought back into the wardrobe and make sure that I can still make outfits from them, that perhaps I can update them for this season. It might be adding a new accessory, perhaps a new scarf that's pulling in different colours. Perhaps like I showed you last week, that little necklace that I bought um, to go with my capsule wardrobe so thinking about things like that and as I said say with the two skirts that I want to wear this season adding to my wish list anything that I think will help me to create outfits and to make things more wearable and give me better cost per wear from them. So I just want to say one more thing about items in your wardrobe which perhaps don't currently fit you. And what I would really like to encourage you to do is to let them go because what happens when you have something in your wardrobe that doesn't fit you and you keep looking at it, if you haven't lost weight then you're going to beat yourself up about it and you're going to be thinking well, well I can't wear that, I've wasted the money. If they're out of your sight then they're going to be out of your mind as well. So I would recommend that if you are buying new and I would say if you don't have things that make you feel really good now then go out and treat yourself to some whatever size or shape you are find things that do flatter you that make you feel good now because if you lose weight you can always have them tailored and made smaller to fit you but um, don't wait until you've lost weight, don't play that waiting game and I have found that the way to um, forget about that weight and to stop beating yourself up about it is to really enjoy what you're wearing now and make sure that you wear something that makes you feel good about yourself. So those things that don't fit you anymore just get rid of them or if you want to pack them away in a box out of sight and then you know so don't think about them if it turns out that in a few months time you have lost some weight then you can get your box out you can try those pieces on and if they do fit you you can bring them back into the wardrobe so um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any questions or want to leave a comment, then please do. I will um, put some links in the description box, which I think will be useful for you. Also, I wanted to mention that in the October magazine, I have done a 10 step guide to um, giving your wardrobe a makeover. So I will link that for you as well. And if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see in the future, then do let me know. But thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.